So we got open government investigations, corrupt police department covers for officer at officers' actions. That's nothing new. Let's wait. Where are we going? Jail. What? Uh, vandalism. What happened? The inside of the store. It's it is the bottom is sounding nicer. Isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Seven seven four suspects. You can hear in this this officer's tone that he is a disgusting tyrant. Kicking my car door. I am deploying my pepper phone. Why are you? Why are you pepper spraying a handcuffed victim? Well, he's kicking your door. So what? It's not your car. The city pays for it. What do you care? I'm trying. I phoned him. And then let him suffer. Didn't call EMS uh, or nothing. Good. Oh, I, I, phone, I, phone, I phone the f out of him. Look at that. I, I phone. Disgusting. That's fine. I phone the f out of him. I'll tell the camera I phone the f out of him. No way do we need officers like that serving the community. Because they protecting and serving the shit out of people. Welcome back to Open Government Investigations. My name is Dave, and I'm an assistant narrator. Today's video features an incident involving the Memphis Police Department that took place back in 2020. While we understand this incident took place a while ago, there are several issues that we would like to discuss. The video begins with Memphis Police Officer William Skelton arriving on the scene at a convenience store. According to the police report, Skelton was responding due to a suspect in the store causing disruptions and knocking over items. Suspect Drew Thomas had been banned from the store previously because of prior incidents. Okay, so this was a simple trespass. Come on. Not now. Come on. You're under arrest. I said you're under arrest, mother. Get the fuck over here. I don't know what this guy, I'm telling you, he is an evil tyrant. Why are you talking to this man like that? It's over here. Off the bat, Officer Skelton begins to hurl insults and curse at Mr. Thomas. Hands on the car. Hands on the car, kid. Oh, shit. Who's my here? Hands on the car. Hands on the car, kid. Oh, shit. I ain't doing nothing. Stay with me, man. I ain't doing nothing. I got brown dough. Keep your hands on the hood. I got a lot of them. Spin it, Cross way. Look at my butt. I didn't I do nothing, man. I wouldn't show it to him either. I was trying to go to work. You ever even had a real job? Downtown. Okay. Yeah, you're about to have some work downtown. Hands behind your back, you're under arrest. But you know, they're going to see it. They, they, these kids got internet. Those for me, please. They know what's up. It was on the news. Inside of the store. What I do? You vandalize the inside of the store. Sit. Oh, I did. I bought some coffee. Good. Sit. My heavy. No. Sit. Why not? Because I said so. Put you like your yeah. feet in. Pizza. Eat it, motherfucker. Look at any. Why is he treating this man like this? This man is, <laughs> bro. The man is. <laughs> 
he being uh respectful to this officer to this officer is totally disrespecting him man why would you why would you treat another human being like this over trespassing get the fuck out trespassing and knocking some chips on it <laughs> knocking some chips off the off the rack like come on man get out of here Any law enforcement officer that doesn't have the capacity to maintain composure during minor events such as this one exactly. should seriously reconsider their line of work is it my thoughts exactly lobotomy sounding nicer isn't yeah it? sure is sure is you need the rip hobble to fuck with you no, no. Are you sure? Seven seven four, one male black in custody. Oh. Take my car again. I'm gonna foam you. You understand me, kid? I will spray the fuck out of you. You worthless piece of incestuous. You understand me, kid? This guy is a evil psychopath. That is a demon speaking through him. And he probably invited in. I will spray the fuck out of you. You worthless piece of incestuous. Everybody silent. Nobody gonna say nothing. Nobody gonna say, bro, you you what's wrong with you? You kind of taking it above where it need to be nobody gonna say nothing everybody gonna just shut up and 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 look the other way on that bro no way where where are the good officers y'all just gonna walk let them i'm gonna stay out here keep an eye on him keep an eye on him for what They can find ways to hurt him more. Oh, I suck my balls, kid. What? what is wrong with Come again? I threw his matches away. Sounds good. Good stuff away. Sounds good. This stuff is evil. Evil. This this is past this is past being a tyrant. This is past being you know, this is past ego. He is evil. That is evil. Only a wicked person would he wicked. I'm, I told him I was gonna spray him. Why why are you so angry with somebody you never even met? The, the call could have been they could have been lying on him on that call which is i i'm thinking that's the case they was lying but you know how, how could you treat somebody like this that you don't know based on a call from a random person and, and this you 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 insult you insult this man calling him all type of stuff which really i think you're projecting because you know Seven seven four suspect Memphis. This is this is in Memphis. It's kicking my car door. I am deploying my pepper foam. Now, rather than utilizing the restraints issued by the department to subdue a suspect from kicking and flailing around, Officer Skelton instead decides to spray Mr. Thomas until this canister is empty. For sure, for sure, he, he's evil. He's evil, man. He was I. You know, he, he was probably bullied, couldn't get no girls. Nobody wanted to be his friend. The friends that he thought he had probably made fun of him. Uh, man, bro, it's all type of, he probably couldn't fight, man. He decided to, I don't know what person. He sprayed him on both sides. Both sides. He went on one side to spray him and went on the other side to spray him. 
and that the one in the yellow jacket and this one walking up just gonna let it happen y'all not gonna say nothing y'all just gonna i'm trying y'all not saying he y'all not gonna say bruh stop you tripping why are you why are you going off like this what's wrong with you no nobody gonna say nothing because no good cops on this scene again spray three times he went from this side this What? what is wrong with you, man? You are right. I don't think so. Anybody got a rip hobble? Mine seems to be missing. No, this man is crazy. He is a psycho. Okay. Hey, what's up, Gima? Crazy stuff going seven, on seven, right four. here. Suspect appears to have calmed down. we So, yeah, so everybody coming in right now. So this man has been arrested for what what seems like, what seems to be a simple trespassing. I don't even I don't even buy that uh, it's the trespassing, but that's what the call was for a simple trespassing. And this officer has soon as off the rip, didn't do no investigation, told his shouting commands at this at this uh, full grown man. Then not only shouting commands, shouting insults. The man he he complies. He asks a few questions, but he, ultimately he's complying, and he's in the back of the car. And the officer says he's kicking he's kicking the door. I don't know if that's happening or not, uh, honestly, and I don't believe that it's happening or not. I just think this cop is saying that so he can uh, have a way to justify him pepper spraying this pepper foaming this man almost four different times, going from one side of the car to the other side of the car twice which is absolutely insane and then they're letting this man suffer in the back of in the back of this squad car with pepper spray uh suffocating him for absolutely i'm gonna say this this definitely didn't need to be risen to the level of pepper spraying this man and having him suffer for a simple trespass if anything this was a simple trespass Check on Sar one. Exactly. It's not even his car. Yeah, he definitely I wouldn't oh this guy is disgusting. Could you imagine him with 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 a with a woman? Come on, bro. Yeah. But I, I doubt I doubt that he I doubt that he's uh able to deal with women and that's why he's taking his frustration out on people like this. I know you I know you just hang at the door. Yeah. I'll hold him on the other side. Good luck. Exactly. He only sprayed him to cause him pain and make him suffer. That's it. Just to make him suffer. Wasn't about compliance or anything. Just want him to suffer. He's back there suffering. Kick me, you get it again. Oh, sir. Are you let the wonder down? For you? Yeah. Hell no. Look at that. Not after that. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna make me you have to treat you like that after I tried to be good to you the first time, tried to take you somewhere to get you some help, then you What? disgusting let's go back to this comment that you was that you was talking about um yeah that's that's definitely it right there uh 
that language or after you're gonna make me do this to you like what type of definitely sadistic you gonna make me be an asshole now you gonna ask me for a favor i don't think so notice how officer stilton used it's the same what you made me do excuse which is the most common form of psychological abuse used by domestic abusers. He also will admit that he probably should roll the windows down to release the aromatic traces of the spray, but decides not to. You have to make him tough. Yeah. Seven, seven, I will three, four, four. Four. Roll the window down. Especially if you can't rub your eyes. I, I probably should. He was he was calling you sir at the end of that though. Yeah, he was. He was. Look at this. So so they saying they basically saying, send you, you know, might want to roll down the window. I mean he kind of respected you at the end, he was calling you sir. Uh, you know, they're very they're pussyfooting around telling him like you tripping and instead of just coming outright and saying it directly like you tripping, let down the window. Stop going crazy, and you know this is not that serious. Why are you so amped up and uh sadistic? What's wrong with you? Is what the other cops should be saying to him. But look, look, you got what is that? Four, four, probably four or five uh units out there. No good cops. Nobody. Where where are the good cops? Please, <laughs> what? What all of these are bad cops. If nobody is stopping this, they're all bad. This guy crazy with him, then calm down. If I do him that, he'll calm down now. Look at that, disgusting. They don't know if the man got mental problems or what. Look at him. I hope so. I'm gonna get some overtime out of this. I've never seen someone spray someone before. It's the first time I've used the phone. <laughs> I hope so. Look at he wanted to cause him pain. I hope so. I don't know if he'll give it to me. How did you try to help him? He tried to help you. He kept him the shit out of people, man. You got enough for a felony? Yeah. Good. What do you mean enough for a felony? Did you uh, hear all that on the radio? Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Ain't no felonies committed, man. Nothing. No felonies was committed here, man. It's a, a simple trespass. And I don't even we don't even know if it's a real trespass because they didn't show the whole investigation. This only could have been like, man, I don't like this person uh, or not even because it's not the owner. It's probably just somebody who, who worked there and maybe. They got into it at one point or some. You know how it goes with certain conv convenience stores or gas stations where the, the staff already have an attitude and you might check them on their attitude. Now, now we don't want you in the store, blah, 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 blah. And uh, then they call the police and say, yeah, man, I've been I, I always have problems with him. Uh, I, we told him not to come back before, even though they may may or may have may or may not have done so. What proof do you have? What proof do you have that you told me or that you said that you didn't want me here uh, before? Where where is that? Did you lightly imply it or did you make it a direct thing? Did you write something down? What? None of that is being investigated. They're just going based off of hearsay. And caught this man and he wasn't even in the building anymore. He hadn't already left. So he, he was on his way home and ended up dealing with this this is why i believe that he should have just ran never i would took off he's not catching me not so good with your beer not only do the other most like you know i don't know where everybody's from but in in, in neighborhoods i grew up in you hear that tone or you hear them uh, shouting commands at you like that? Bro, it's never going to turn out good if you stick around. It's never going to turn out good. 
other officers encourage the inappropriate conduct displayed by Officer Skelton, he even takes his body cam off while pointing it at himself and brags about it. This is the new one. This is something I, I found him. Good. Now, I phoned the, the fuck out of him. I'm going to have my day on that. That's fine. I phoned the fuck out of him. I'll tell the camera I phoned the fuck out of him. I told him I was going to phone the fuck out of him. And then, and then he started kicking again. I'm like, you, you going to do it? He's like, I'm going to do it. I'm like, oh, shit. Here we go. I, he kicked the door. I said, you do it again. I'm going to phone you. He did it again. So I phoned him. Okay. Right, we we yeah, and he's repobbled now. And now he's calling me, sir. Yeah, now he's being with Here's the, the thing. I know you're going to need to weigh it. He you know, because, you know, it's better. Oh, it's right. better for him. oh yeah. Biddick's working on the ticket right now. Exactly. That, that's probably true, Vicky. I told him. That's probably big gas station. Yeah, when, when he started ticking, I turned around. Right then, I was like, oh. I told him. You didn't get any licks on you, did you? I don't think so. I, I started to held him, but I would have. I would have got devastated. I started to. I started to smell it there for a second. Yeah, I would have got devastated. So, do you need my explanation for the arrest ticket? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, what are you charging him with? Okay. He he says he's got enough for felony vandalism. Really? Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. He's actually barred from there. He's on the. The fact that they laugh and joking and about people having serious felony charges is absolutely disgusting. There's nothing funny about somebody having a felony charge. Disgusting, man. All of, all of these people are the one officer who's doing all this is wicked for sure the other ones are too weak to stand up to this wickedness so they fall into it and start making jokes and and you know that makes them just as wicked none of them are better than the guy actually doing the wicked action it makes them just as wicked these are demons, man. This man has a demon in him, and other people are letting his demonic influence uh, spread out to them. And now that all, you know, it's. it's do, ag do ag trespass. Uh, yeah, do ag trespass. So we, we are for sure going to have a felony on this? Sure kind of he's not so kicking it. No, he's just wiggling. The phone's doing its work. I mean, I have a. We got, we got more pepper spray. I know, I know. We can always pepper spray again if we need. Y'all, how disgusting. Never mind. Take that back. He's just as wicked. They're all they're all demonic. He's the, the one officer is not having a effect on them. They're all just as demonic and they're all this is this is a demon huddle. Need to. I've never seen anybody get sprayed in the touch of before. Demon huddle. I just got here. I just pulled over. He disgusted. Oh, you, 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 you are part of that, bro. They, uh, you know, people that look just like you, like that. If you didn't have on that, pop, he got you didn't have on that, this uniform, here. that would be you. You got more than one face for it. Hell, now, you did what you had to do. I just spray every last one of them. Water. Help him. Help. Help him. Help. How sadistic is that? You, you hear somebody saying help, and you're not going. Disgusting, evil, demonic. This is far past tyrants and ego. They are demonic. This is this is this is wickedness. Water. Yeah. Well, I want you back up there, my boy. Okay, yes, sir. Is it? How do you yeah. think? Is it gonna fly? I will say if he spits me out, I can't guarantee I won't take it in the face. That's okay. Like, that's that's that's, that's, that's right. okay. That's that's all right. I have a very low tolerance. Well, I mean, he he won't be accepted at the jail until he's been cleared there. So. If I, I mean, it's gonna hurt when I wash them out. But 
It's just going to sting worse. Well, I also know you don't like coming out of the office this close to getting off on time. Uh, my, sinus, my sinuses are open, yes, sir. And uh, Lieutenant said charge him with felony vandalism. I don't know about the, the regular old spray, but the foam works wonderful. Oh, no, I, I mean, I, I'm I the reason you're here. So. Uh, thank you. Stupidity is what it is. The lobotomy and the robot, robotic society skills. The lobotomy for him? Yes. <laughs> lobotomy for him, definitely. Robotic society for him. I, no, yeah, robotic society for him. Yeah. I, I'm not... I'm, uh, I'm not going to give... Hashtag stop them live in a robot footage. society, but him, yes. Hashtag stop muting body cam footage. They didn't had this man in that car sprayed up with pepper spray from from uh night to morning. He can live in a robot society and have a lobotomy. I believe I'm on camera calling him a and I'm still on camera, so I believe I'm on camera calling him a worthless piece of incestuous. You did. I did I? Okay. Yes, that's exactly what you called him. Then you started spraying it. Pretty quick. I've come super close to doing it probably two or three times, but I haven't done it yet. Now we got a legit felony charge. He'll be there for at least a couple oh, weeks. No, he's a, he's Let's hope. <laughs> oh, when, when they when they got him out and walked like him, to... a puppy dog just rubbing his face in the dirt. When, when they got him, dad getting sprayed though. I mean, I got. I, I'm sure he is a phone. Don't leave as easy. That's one of the reasons I wanted to use it because it was given to me not just for mental consumers, but period. Period. It went from I'm gonna kick your to sir he was saying he was like sorry yeah so he didn't want to get the ever living fight us he just wanted to get sprayed i ain't no bitch. and now you believe me he said he was gonna nobody believes you you have just proven that you are the most you are the biggest coward ever what do you mean you ain't and this is the false sense of confidence that a badge in the gun gives to people who are like him. Like no way that this guy would do any of this without his badge in that gun. And if he would have tried to do it with somebody, it definitely ain't going down like this. He is not coming out the winner because he is wicked. He's on camera saying he's gonna beat my ass. So no, he's not. Yeah, zoom in on that. Look, said you can't First time I put him in. Yo, when when did he say that? Yeah, okay. That that was the first he realized it right now. But he's evil, you know. They're all evil, and or he's either he's either just this demonic or want to fit in with this demon. So if you want to fit in with a demon, that means you're demonic as well. That means this demon has a a, a hold on your spirit. So why are we resurfacing this old interaction? According to the analysis of the internal affairs investigation, Skelton should not have used a chemical agent on Thomas because the crime committed was a vandalism misdemeanor charge. Thomas was in the back of the squad car in handcuffs and was not a threat to us. My bad to, to stop this again, but y'all, those are psycho eyes. Like you, if you ever see, if you ever see these mug shots of these officers, they always have the psycho eyes. You can see it in their eyes that they're crazy. And I don't know how they got in the force and hired being this crazy. You can see the crazy in his eyes. You can see it. You can see like that. He's crazy. Something is not right about that. Look at his eyes. Nothing Others. there. Nothing. Just for himself. The investigation noted that Mr. Thomas was taken into custody without. And, and look at this man talking about he not, bro, you got a double chin. Get out of here, man. An incident and was cooperative. The investigation also said that kicking the back seat was not enough reason to deploy the spray and was. It's not enough reason because it's not hurting nobody. He kicking the door on the back seat is not enough to, for nothing. It's not your car. It's taxpayer dollar. It's not like he's going to kick the door open. You know, he's in, he's in handcuffs. You tied him up. What? It's also critical that Skelton and the officers at the scene did not offer any aid. And as you saw earlier, the officers joked about it on the body cam footage. During an interview, Skelton admitted to investigators that he didn't roll the windows down because he was angry. He said that he felt Mr. Thomas didn't deserve to have the windows rolled down. 
Officer Skelton was also cited for personal conduct due to the degrading language he used with Thomas during the incident. The internal investigation was also critical of how the report was written, where it referenced the inconsistencies and errors regarding the amount of damage that was alleged to have occurred. The report pointed out that when asked if there was enough damage in the business to charge Mr. Thomas with a felony, officer, the officer who wrote the report can be heard on body cam saying, quote, I am making it happen. The investigation would go on to say that such a comment would suggest that regardless of the actual facts, a value that would justify a felony arrest would be used. The report also went on to say that Officer Biddick, in his many statements on the scene, illustrates an intent to deceitfully complete a document and would keep Mr. Thomas in jail for a longer period than the actual facts and evidence would dictate. You are probably saying to yourself that the thorough investigation... I told y'all, man. You can think, okay, they're gonna, you're going to go and... You know, you're going to be out in a couple of hours or maybe the next day because of, you know, you think things are going to go the way that they're, they're supposed to go. But you have wickedness and you have people like this who just want to ruin your life, ruin your day and just make you suffer. He is evil, sadistic and should be nowhere near. Actually, he they need to lock him up because he's bro. Look what he's doing to people. And, and, into the and gross the, misconduct and the boldness and his wickedness is chilling the use of excessive force and felony aggravated perjury as defined in tennessee code 39 16 703 would result in the officers involved being properly brought to justice instead the case was not submitted to the attorney general because officer skelton was allowed to resign Rather than properly charging the other officers involved with aiding Officer Skelton in the commission of a felony, the department instead gave the rest of the officers involved with this incident a slap on the wrist and would allow them to continue with their employment. Charges wouldn't be filed against Officer Skelton until several years later. The biggest issue with this is that Officer Skelton is the only one facing charges. None of the other officers involved were brought up on charges even though they were accessory to the crimes committed. If a citizen were to engage in any of the behavior exhibited by these officers, would they be charged to the fullest extent of the law? Absolutely. So then why isn't the same level of justice delivered to the ones who swear an oath to uphold the law when they violate them? Head on over to the Memphis Police Department Facebook page and engage in lawful redress. Ask them why they chose to not continue with passing on charges to the Attorney General. Ask them why they think they deserve special privileges. If you head on over to our Patreon, you can review the entire internal affairs investigation for yourself. And don't forget to let us know in the comment section what you thought about this interaction.